Here we are at Elisha and Eliza Hammond's house. Elisha Hammond was born in 1779 in Newton, Massachusetts, and then moved to New Ipswich, New Hampshire, to the home of his wife, Eliza. He became a trained portrait painter, and where we first hear of him is William Lloyd Garrison writes in his letters that he's now having his portrait painted in New Ipswich, and he really likes the portrait. Garrison takes the time to try and convince the couple to come here to the Northampton Association of Education and Industry. Eliza was a little reluctant to come, but I think Elisha appealed to her that this would be a place where they could work against slavery because they were both abolitionists up there in New Hampshire. And so Elisha Hammond comes here and he basically is one of the few people we know of that cares about embellishment and making a life of culture here at the Northampton Association, which really was an industrial community, a sort of no-nonsense place. Frederick Douglass would often visit the community here at the Northampton Association. And on one visit, he sat for a portrait by Elisha Hammond. This portrait, now at the National Portrait Gallery, was painted one month before Frederick Douglass's famous narrative was published. We also know that he was an ardent women's rights activist, and it was he who held out for the strongest possible language in the founding documents of the Free Congregational Society to ensure the rights of women in that group. His house, like Samuel Hill's house next door, was known as an underground railroad stop, uh, though we have no primary source confirmation that slaves stayed in this house. Uh, we only have his obituary that says fleeing slaves were never turned from his door. 